Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. How are you, students? Today we will study unit number four, lecture number twenty-five, subject physics. I am your teacher, Abta Badam. Today topic is moment and center of mass. Day before we studied that the principle of moment state that if an object is not turning. total clockwise moment and total anti clockwise moment will be equal here if you can see this diagram the weight of ladder is acting here so it produce anti clockwise star this bucket will produce clockwise star if it is equal this ladder will not rotate that is that we studied already so we will now explain center of mass about moment you all already know that it is the turning effect the center of mass of an object is the point where its weight acts point its weight force acts from basically center of mass is the point about which the body rotate at which if you apply force the body move without rotation for example if you can see if you take any body like this and this is center of mass if you apply force at this point this will move without rotation if you apply force here it will move like this so cause is rotation so the point at which force is applied and the body move without rotation is called center of mass for objects that are not symmetrical or do not have constant density we need an other method to find the center of mass we use a device Card a form line to indicate the vertical distance. Plumb line, plumb. When mass is attached with string, it is called plumb. From this point, it is hanging. This this body is hanged. And this string is attached with this one this is called this line is called plumb line center of mass will be somewhere along this line if we freely hang an object the center of mass will always be vertical below the point on which we hang the object it is uh, an experiment and we will do this in lab now center of mass and stability if you can see this diagram center of mass is the midpoint so it is for regular shape object defined shape object regular shape or defined shape in triangle the point of intersection intersection of the medium midpoint median point of intersection of median or angle bisector in if you take is it rectangle point of intersection of diagonal point of intersection of diagonal is called center of mass the center of mass of an object is the point at which we can think of the whole mass of the object to be concentrated if an object is symmetrically symmetrical the center of mass is always the axis of symmetry now the center of mass there is a special point in a system or object called the center of mass that moves 
is if all the mass of the system is concentrated at that point the point where the uh, the weight the mass of an object is maximum the system will move as if an external force were applied to a single particle of mass m located at the center of mass for example if you you look to this example in this example this body here the force is applied so here if you can see causes rotation leave this point behind so this point is not center of mass here the body move this movement and this movement is different so not center of mass if you push the body at this point this distance this object distance and this will covers equal distance so this is the center of mass so center of mass is the point center of mass is the point at which force is applied and the body move without rotation and the body move without rotation for example here the body this distance and this body have cover different distance so body uh, here the body causes rotation in the next diagram this distance and this body distance is different so causes rotation causes rotation here this point does not cause this rotation so here this is called center of mass now the system rotates clockwise when a force is ab uh, above the center of mass if force is above it will rotate clockwise if the force is below it will rotate anti clockwise now center of gravity center of gravity the point at which all the body all the mass of the body may be assumed to be concentrated the point through which the force of gravity is considered to act vertically downward with a force equal to the weight of the body the point is about which the body would be balanced the center of gravity of a homogeneous body is at its geometrical center for example if you have a rectangle point of intersection of diagonal is the center of gravity if circular circular shape objects at center if triangle point of intersection of the median now if you can see this diagram now look at the given diagram this diagram high center of gravity for example take this as reference line now here car topples because center of gravity is at higher position here the center of gravity is lower as compared to this one so it will not topples now look at the bus this is less inclined so the bus will not topples because center of gravity is lower here it is more inclined so center of gravity will be at greater distance from the earth surface so less will be the stability center of gravity 
center of gravity of a body is that point at which the weight of the body acts this is center of gravity this is center of gravity this is center of gravity the center of gravity of a symmetrical body is along the axis of symmetry center of gravity is also sometimes called center of mass now center of gravity is is a point where the whole weight of the body acts so here is center of mass and stability you guess the center of mass of an object is the point at which we can think the whole mass of the body to be concentrated if an object is symmetrical the center of mass is always on x axis symmetry so center of mass center of mass center of mass now i will explain few things center of mass is the point at which the body move without rotation and stability is the point stability explain the lower will be the center of gravity lower will be the center of mass lower will be the center of mass center of mass higher will be the stability higher will be the stability higher will be the stability so the body is said to be more stable if you lower the center of mass for example the height of a racing car is kept small to lower the center of gravity to lower the center of mass you you will increase the stability now now i will explain rigid body in physics a rigid body is a solid body in which deformation is zero or so small it can be neglected the distance between any two given points on rigid body remains constant for example if you have any object for example this and this is a is o point and this is a point if you exert force on this body from all direction it cannot be squeezed you cannot squeeze it you cannot squeeze it for example a metallic ball so this body is said to be rigid body which cannot be compressed or you cannot produce the deformation in the body you cannot deform the body the body is said to be rigid body x is a rotation rotation around a fixed axis is a special case of rotational motion the fixed axis hypoth hypothesis exclude the possibility of an object changing up an axis changing changing its orientation and cannot describe such phenomena as wobbling or process uh, pro precession now axis of rotation is the point from which the body can be rotated from which the body can be rotated now i will explain i will revise the topic we done in two lectures turning effect is torque turning effect is car torque unit is newton meter formula is ta is equal to r cross f so if cross is written you will take sin theta if dot is written you will take cos theta now parallel forces parallel forces two forces are said to be parallel if they have they don't intersect each other this line this line this line these are called parallel forces parallel forces these are also called parallel forces all are acting in the same direction not intersecting each other they will also not intersecting each other so they are called parallel forces 
this force this one this one this one acting in the same direction so like parallel forces it is in different direction so unlike parallel forces the forces whose line of action are parallel to each other and all of them act in the same direction for example direction is same so they are called like parallel forces now addition of vectors vectors can be added by graphically graphically so when you add vector graphically you should follow some steps and i will do it to you on one page draw horizontal first is a draw horizontal and vertical lines so you will draw these lines this is vertical line and this is horizontal line so draw horizontal and vertical lines second step label these lines label these lines x axis y axis north east south west first step is draw horizontal and vertical line second step label these lines next two step done one draw the lines second label these line third step is make a suitable scale for it make a suitable scale for it make a suitable scale for it for example you cannot draw a line of 10 cm we cannot draw a line of 10 cm uh, 10 km because we don't have so uh, we don't have such a, a page of 10 km that we can draw and secondly you cannot draw so you will write 5 km is equal to 1 cm so 10 km is equal to 2 cm so if you draw a line of 2 cm it means 10 km you will this is a suitable scale the last step is um, you uh, an angle will be given to you 30 degree 40 degree something will be given so you will draw line according to the selected scale at the given angle so you will draw line if the angle is given with 30 degree with x axis then you will draw a line of 30 degree with x axis next is resolution of forces if you have a vector and you want to uh, resolve uh, to resolve it resolve it splitting up so if you resolve it into its horizontal and vertical component if you resolve it into its horizontal and vertical component this is the vertical component this is the horizontal component and this is the resultant vector then you we, we will draw a parallel line to this one this is this makes an angle of 90 degree with each other so these are called rectangular components of a force and you resolve a single vector into its into two components so it's called resolution of forces now the component the component of force which is acting along y axis is called horizontal component and represented by fx and this will represents the vertical component because this is acting along y axis and this is acting along x axis and if you draw a parallel line equal in then to this vector it will represents fy these are called the uh, this is called these are called the result uh, the the rectangular components of a force so the components which makes an angle of 90 degree with each other for example fx comp fx component fy component 
makes an angle of 90 degree so these are called the rectangular components perpendicular components both terminology is used torque the rotational uh, effect of a body is called torque the rotational effect produced in a body is called torque torque is equal to r cross f torque is a vector quantity unit is newton meter rigid body which cannot be deformed which cannot be compressed axis of rotation the point about or the line about which rotation take place line of rotation line of rotation is called axis of rotation formula for torque right hand rule is used to find the direction of uh, right hand rule right hand rule is used to find the direction of torque difference between torque and moment of torque is the moment of force moment is a static force so a very little difference direction of torque curls the finger in the direction of rotation curls the finger in the direction of rotation the thumb will give you the direction of torque torque depends on moment arm greater is the moment arm greater will be the torque greater is the force greater is the force greater will be the torque so torque is equal to r cross f torque is equal to r cross f is equal to r f sin theta when you use cross you will replace by sin theta when you use dot you will replace by cos theta now line of action the line along which the force is acting is called line of action point of action the point at which the force is applied principle of moment state the total clockwise torque is equal to total anti clockwise torque here it produces clockwise torque and it produces anti clockwise torque so this will be in balance condition if the torque produced by this body is equal to the torque produced by the other body clockwise torque is equal to anti clockwise torque this is the statement of principle of moment now the next is a moment and center of mass center of mass is the point at which the body mass is maximum at which the body at which the force is applied and the body move without rotation stability lower will be the center of mass higher will be the stability that's why if you see this body is more balanced if you raise its center of gravity might be it will become unstable this is unstable position this is unstable position center of mass there is a special point in a system of our, uh, our object called the center of mass that moves as if all of the mass of the system is concentrated at that point here body rotate here the body rotate here move the body without rotation so center of mass is the point at which force is applied and the body move without rotation now center of gravity where the whole weight of the body is acting center of gravity where the whole weight of the body is acting thank you students allah hafiz